now let us discuss about rename operation in relational algebra rename operator is mainly useful in order to rename a relation in order to rename a relation rename operator can also be useful in order to rename the attributes of the relation to rename the attributes of relation we know that uh, the output of any relational algebra operator is a relation it may be select operator or project operator or union operator or intersection or set difference or join operator the output of any relational algebra operator is a relation by using rename operator we can rename the result of the relation so rename operator is also useful in order to rename result of a relation result of a relation so by using rename operator mainly we can do these three activities the first one is we can rename a relation the second one is we can rename the attributes of the relation and the third one is we can rename the result of a relation we can rename the output of a relation now let us see how we can do that rename operator is denoted by row symbol so this is uh, pronounced as row row operator let us see uh, let us take a table uh, let we have a table called r1 which contains the attributes a b c so a b c are nothing but the attributes of the relation uh, here we uh, we can have several rows let us see the first uh, task of the rename operator it is useful in order to rename a relation so here for rename we have to use as row operator row so what is the old relation name r1 let us rename r1 to r2 so whenever this statement is executed then r1 relation name is modified to r2 now r1 will be modified to r2 and what is the second task of the rename operator it is useful in order to rename the attributes of a relation okay so row so here what is the name of the relation r2 previously we have abc as the attributes let us rename those attributes to def so whenever the statement is executed then the attributes of r2 relation are modified to def so now a is modified to d b is modified to e c is modified to f so if you want we can modify one attribute two attributes also there is no problem so if you want to modify only one attribute then we can specify as g so if you specify only one attribute g then d will be changed to g okay if you want to modify two attributes uh, d and e as g and h then we can write as g comma h so that d and e will be modified to g and h now let us see the third task of the rename operator it is useful in order to rename result of a relation so for that uh, let us take a student table a student table so let we have student table let student table uh, contains uh, three attributes roll number name marks let the roll number is 1 name is uh, a marks 90 marks roll number is 2 name is b marks 95 roll number is 3 name is c marks 100 okay now let us do one operation so row of row of uh, let uh, new relation name is uh, student name so stu underscore name comma comma let us perform the project operation so pi we know the advantage of the project operation it is useful in order to extract a single column or multiple columns let us extract a name here so pi name of what is the name of the relation a student student so whenever the statement is executed 
then name column will be extracted from the student relation. So this is the output now. This is the output now. Now that output will be stored in a relation called student name. So this is the use of, uh, 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 this is the advantage of the rename operator. So now the relation name or uh, a table name is student name and it has an attribute called name and what are the attributes pro, pro, corresponding values abc are the values so this is the advantage of uh, rename operator in relational algebra so this is about rename operator in relational algebra